This is just a short combo based tutorial on Yoshimitsu in Street Fighter Cross Tekken. I saw within the powers video, but I didn't think it went into quite enough detail. For his main jump attacks, we first have his high punch. It does 3 hits for 105 damage, and it doesn't cross up despite how the animation may look at times. Next is his jump high kick. It does 100 damage and bounces the other character on the ground if done air to air. For most situations though, jump high punch seems to outshine this. And lastly there's his jump medium kick, which does 70 damage. It's his only cross up though, so it has to be mentioned. After any of these jump in attacks, the best follow ups are medium punch and medium kick, as you can't do specials after his highs. With medium punch you want to be careful too. If you just barely hit with your jump in, you'd be better off doing medium kick, as a far medium punch can't cancel into specials either. This is the most damage you can get while tagging out without using meter, however the timing between the low punch and the low kick is a bit tricky, so if you want an easier tag out for only 6 less damage then this is a good option. If you don't mind using one bar to tag out, then this is your best option in terms of damage, and it also allows you to get a jump attack into combo with a character coming in, at least with the few that I've tried. If you're not worried about tagging out, then these are currently the most damaging one meter combos that can be performed with him. The timing may be a little tricky though, so the third option can be used for consistency with 7 less damage. When doing EX Poison Breath in combos, be sure not to add too many hits prior to it. Doing so will cause the damage to scale to the point where the combo will do less damage than a meterless one. His best use for two bars if he's on his own is a short combo into super. The best way to land his cross art is by doing any of his mid screen meterless combos, but ending with the cross art instead of the DPM medium punch. <laughs> Having them at the wall doesn't change a huge amount in terms of combos, the main difference is that he can land his super after having launched them, although it does make this particular part of the combo after the DP a bit easier. You can get slightly different enders too while they're on the wall, but there's little point that I can see in it since a DP will do more damage anyway. In the case of air to air, high punch will allow you a bit more damage, but nothing decent unless you are willing to use your cross art. The jump high kick into ground bounce is similar. The main difference being that you can use a super after it. From his flea stance, if you slide into them, you get a full combo. This can be done after they get hit by his sword. To get anything off his overheads, you need to tag your partner in during them. For the EX Suicide, you can get a jump attack, but they get pushed further away than usual, so you may need to adjust your partner's combo to suit it. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, comments or criticisms, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below.